Hello YouTube, this is an endorphin tutorial on how to use animation events in your scenes and eliminate grayness on animation events. So you gotta open your endorphin. Uh, you do not need the full version for this, you can use learning edition or whatever version you want. So, you wanna make a really, really basic thing. So, move the simulation character to the side. Add a constraint, or I mean uh, collision, uh, box, scale it, you want to make it good enough so the character can stand on. And, okay. So, take the simulation character, move him over onto the box. Okay. Now what you're going to do, right click. Add a behavior event. And since we're making this really basic, jump and dive is not going to work for this tutorial. Unless I make a different animation, but we're going to stick with the jump off box. So we're going to use a jump one. And you can make the strength whatever you want. Jump timing, leave it natural unless you want to make it like point one. But this is good if you're using the run animation. And then right after he wants to jump, it's good to make it point one. It's just kind of so gonna reset back to what it was. So it looks like this. So and strength you can make whatever point five whatever, and then it just adds a bit more strength. So okay now so I simulate and. He goes, okay, right here, right here about, we want to add an animation for him to land on his feet and hands and then just get back up and stand. So, since we want it right here, we're going to come up to the simulation character timeline and find the frame you want, right click, create animation event. So, what you want to do, if you're at your computer, you want to go to your C drive, uh, program files, times 86, or whatever you have. You want to find natural motion, endorphin, resources, animation, and then all this. Animation, audio, audio motion 1, FBX, there's a whole bunch of runs, there's, uh, like, walks, um, all that kind of stuff. There's also a point, um, but we're, we're gonna look at audio, mo uh, yeah, audio motion two, FPX, not as much. There's like uh, sidekick, there's a run with gun, get ups, dive, and uh, so what we're gonna work with is the jump off box. So we're gonna double click, click reference, transfer from reference character, browse, and to find this, you're just gonna go back up to your computer. Um, C drive, look for, or program files, whatever, look for your natural motion, resources, characters, custom, third party, okay, and then you have these three. Since we have an audio motion 2 animation, we're going to open audio motion 2. There you go, so you want to click uh, reference, reference again, click OK. It's going to import the animation, and then, so, we're going to move the animation over a bit. So what it looks like right now is that. Not good at all, right? He's, he jumps, he jumps over here, and then he just comes back here. There's It's okay, there's a way to solve this. So, you, we want him right there to land. So we're going to do this. We're going to look at the point in which the animation starts to jump and is about to land. So he's starting his jump. Nope. He just lifts off the ground here. Uh, he's in midair. Just a bit back more. bit more. 
Okay, let's just go with that. So now you're going to move. Make sure it kind of overlaps with the character so it looks fine. Simulate. And... Looks okay. The jumper looks like he's, like, twisted back. So if you want to fix that, maybe put in a little active pose or something. Maybe... Uh... Kind of like, I don't know, like a curl up or something. But since this is really basic, we're not going to get into any of that. So, looks alright. So, yeah, there's your scene if you wish to do it like that. But to eliminate the grayness on your character, you want to select these two little animation event triangle things and delete them. Click your little animation. Act. Yeah, this is really important. You gotta listen. So you click active, strength 100, mode, full hold, target joint select, and then you're gonna deselect the fingertips just so they don't flutter around because the strength is really high. Simulate. He jumps. No grayness. And just to make it look even better. Um, you want to get this green animation character thing out, so display events, and it disappears. There you go. Looks a bit better, and then to get that character cube out of the way, just right-click display character cubes and simulate. There you go. It lands. And as you can see, since I deselected the fingertips, the fingertips is not active in this animation, so originally he's supposed to land his fingertips on the ground, but since I deselected the fingertips, it doesn't go entirely on the ground. See, and if I reselect the fingertips, since it's on 100 strength, yeah, see, right there, it starts fluttering around the fingertips. Well, that's really all you need to do for that. But just re make sure you remember to deselect the fingertips. There you go. And there's your basic scene. And I'll be making um, more anim um, tutorials. And um, I am now taking endorphin tutorial requests. So thank you for watching.